These three here that we've pulled out for you are probably the most inform wide attacking players, certainly of an English bent, in the Premier League right now. Arguably three of the best players in the Premier League right now. And we've been comparing the stats. Here's Cole Palmer. Look, more goals, considerably more goals. Six more goals than Bakayo Saka and Phil Foden. If you look at, <clears throat> excuse me, if I move out of the way, assists, pretty even, nine, eight, seven. Then you look at chances created. Look at Bakayo Saka in the middle, 74, yeah. way ahead of the others. Surprised me a little bit, but that shows the impact he's been having for Arsenal. Passing accuracy. Phil Foden's ahead in that one, 89%. We know the way he and Manchester City like to play football. He's absolutely key for them. Possession won in the final third. Bakayo Saka, top of the list, 33 times he's won the ball back in attacking positions. So if you've got to pick one of those three, or two of those three to play in wide attacking positions, which do you go for? Which of those characteristics are most important? So, yes, there's no doubt that Cole Palmer is absolutely outstanding. But there's a bit of flavour of the month here, yeah. I think you have to say. I was standing there's a bit here, of day after scoring four goals. I was, I was talking to you a few weeks ago about Phil Foden, who just scored a hat-trick in the number 10 position. And everybody was saying, he's got to play number 10 for England. What do you do with Jude Bellingham? who's been outstanding, 22 goals and 13 assists for Real Madrid this season in the number 10 position. England are blessed in these attacking positions. It's difficult to get them all in. There's no doubt Cole Palmer is absolutely on fire. There's no doubt he's going to the Euros if he stays fit. If he gets in the starting 11, that's more nuanced. I think it depends on where England are in terms of opposition and what Southgate wants to try and do with them. All right, let's try and get him into that first 11. Let's have a look at how it's possible. So talk me through it. It's not easy. It's not easy. We've, what we've done is we've created three scenarios for you here where we try and get Cole Palmer into the England starting 11. And there are sacrifices. There are pros and cons of doing so all the time. This is the first option. Look, Cole Palmer playing in a number 10 role, which means Jude Bellingham has to drop to a number eight, a little bit deeper. And as I, saw, as, as I said to you, if you look at the stats uh, for Bellingham this season... Um, 25 goals and 13 assists there in all competitions from Real Madrid. How much attacking ability and prowess are you losing if you drop Bellingham a bit further back to get Cole Palmer in? The other negative, of course, is that Cole Palmer hasn't really been playing in a number 10 role for Chelsea this season. He's been typically playing on the right. So you're playing him out of position. How will he fit there? Yeah. He's, he's a great footballer, but at that level, international football, will it work? One option, pros and cons. Let's show you option number two. Again, what we've done here, the only difference from that previous one is we've swapped Phil Foden and Cole, and Cole Palmer over. So Foden's playing in that number 10 role where people have been clamouring for him to yeah. play, where he's done so well for Manchester City this season. Cole Palmer's playing in a wide attacking position. Oh, hang on. He's on the wrong side. Now, you could see a scenario where Saka and Palmer were swapping wings in the game, creating more difficulty for defending teams. That could work quite well. But again, you've lost Jude Bellingham's attacking prowess and all the goals he's scored and created from a number 10 position. Pros and cons there. Maybe that one's a bit better. Let's show you the third option. I don't see this one happening, but I think it uses a really good example to show the significance of the difficulties Southgate's got. Cole Palmer in his preferred position on the right wing. So no Bakayo Saka. Can you drop Bakayo Saka no, with those stats we've just shown you? He's been outstanding for Arsenal this season. He's been brilliant for England for two or three tournaments now. So none of these are palatable. And I think what it shows you is just the problems that England have got and Gareth Southgate's got in trying to accommodate a world-class set of attacking options and midfield options. You know, we've got Rice and, and Gallagher there. The advantage of this one is you can get an extra midfielder. It might be Gallagher, it might be Kobe Mainu in there. But you haven't got Bakayo Saka, which is a hell of a loss. Uh, we haven't even talked about defence. I think you and I will talk a lot more about defence in the weeks we and will. months to come when we know who's fit. This is where England are weak, whether they're fully at uh, full strength or not. This area is where they're incredibly strong. And you and I are arguing about whether it's Palmer or Saka or Foden or Grealish or, you know, Jared Bowen or even Anthony Gordon, who's come into the wide attacking areas really impressively for England recently. They're really strong whichever option you go for. It's other areas where England's got, England have got problems. He doesn't, he doesn't get in, Rob. He doesn't get in the starting <laughs> 11, does he? He doesn't, though, does he? Well, he comes off the bench and scores the winner. That, he doesn't get in the I, starting 11. Good feeling. I think that's probably right. I think that's what Southgate will do. We talk a lot about Gareth Southgate sticking with his favourites, sticking with the players that have been there at big tournaments and have the experience. That's not Cole Palmer, but he's a match winner. He's a game changer. I think you're probably right. He's an option from the bench, but even there, it's not straightforward, is it? No, it absolutely isn't. Do you know what? That's our view, but we want you to get involved, digest it. We're running a WhatsApp poll. Question simply is, is Palmer the best player in the Premier League on current form? 